The first trams were powered by horses and then steam, but the system we have today is driven by electricity. Each tram car has a long pole on its roof called a pantograph, which uses a spring-loaded mechanism to maintain contact with an overhead wire called a catenary running above the track. An electric current flowing through the wire is passed down the pantograph and to the tram's motors, which drive the wheels to keep it moving. To control the speed of vehicle, the driver simply adjusts the amount of electricity that reaches the motors, increasing it to go faster and decreasing it to go slower. After flowing through the motors, the electricity is passed through the wheels to the rails of the track, where it flows back to the main power supply to complete the electric circuit. If any part of the circuit breaks, such as if the wheels come off the track, the flow of electricity will stop and so will the tram.